Hey guys, Carol 97 again. This time I'm going to review of the War of 44 scale high grade Universal Century Zaku 1 sniper type from the Harmony of Gundam series. And first of all, this is of course a remold of the original Zaku 1, but a few more pieces than you might expect are actually different. First, of course, uh, the most obvious ones are the head and the backpack, which are completely different. But also the torso is quite a bit more detailed than the original one and even the right shoulder here slightly more detailed and also looks like it's slightly more armored like this is slapped on there uh, judging by the line there and also the crotch piece here uh, a little bit different and of course another obvious one is the crutch on the right leg another big difference the color let's get on with that instead of the a uh, dark green combo dark blue. We now have a sandy yellow for most of the legs, uh, the arms, and pale brown for a lot of the torso, the skirt armor. And finally, we have some very dark gray for the torso, once again, uh, the joints, the hands, and a few other minor details here and there. For stickers, as always with the Zakus, we don't get a lot. We have a very nice golden one for the Monoai, but unfortunately it doesn't look uh, like it was cut correctly because there's a really cool thing about the sticker is that there's actually a crosshair on here, but the top line is a lot longer than the bottom one and it looks like the ones on the side are also a bit too much um, down instead of right in the middle. So that is a bit unfortunate because if it had been cut correctly it would have been really awesome but moving on we get a pink one for the scope of the machine gun and we get two really nice metallic green ones for the sensors and the scope of the sniper rifle one thing i have to mention is uh, the pink one isn't metallic but the golden one for the mono eye is metallic moving on with the articulation and since this is a remold of the original zaku it's going to be great Except for one thing, the mono eye unfortunately doesn't move left to right. It does, however, go slightly up. Though I'm not really sure if it's meant to go up or if it's just because the way uh, it is put together, because it's not really a joint that uh, allows it, it's just that it's held in there by friction when you point it upwards. So let's make sure that's in there correctly again. There we go. And then, of course, the head left and right about that far and then up a bit down a bit and ever so slightly backwards and forwards arms rotate around all the way go up 90 degrees and forward really really nicely that's definitely one of the best things that the zaku one can do another great thing is double elbow joint something not a lot of the zakus do hands wiggle around, turn around, and where everything a ball joint does. The waist slightly forwards, not a lot backwards, because of course we have a giant backpack that gets kinda in the way now. But it doesn't prevent it from turning around all the way. Legs go forward, about that far, backwards until it hits the back skirt rotate around a little bit and go out about that far. Knees double join as well and go really nicely. Then the feet side to side, forwards, backwards, rotate around a bit and they can extend slightly with the usual crazy Zaku joint. Extend it like this, there we go all the way up like that. Of course, the big feature for the articulation here is the crutch, which allows it to do a perfect crouch, which is something almost none of the high grades can do, and even a lot of, if not most, of the muscle grades also have problems with, depending on the design of the mobile suit. So. That is absolutely fantastic. Since he's already crouching, let's immediately get on with the main event of this set. The Beam Sniper Rifle. 
Now, the only moving part here is the sniper scope on the left it goes up and down. And now let's give it to him, pop out the hand. Trigger finger hand is the same one that is used for the machine gun. And it goes like that. Now the hand, it's in there slightly floppy, but fortunately, we do get an extra left hand to support it. And this is a brand new hand specifically designed to go onto the beam sniper rifle. Like this, and it holds on to the front there. So now the sniper rifle is steady. And the final thing you gotta do is disconnect this one right here. And this is going to feed the beam sniper rifle. We're gonna disconnect it again. And this is quite a cool thing about the sniper because it really gives you that feel that this is a quick thing they threw together because the Zaku one isn't powerful enough, isn't nearly powerful enough to power any kind of beam weapon in the slightest. Not even the Dom was powerful enough. So essentially what they did was threw a giant generator on his back gave it a wire that connects to the sniper rifle in order to power it and also this wire is really nice it's a mesh cable with a metal wire inside so it is also kind of bendable that is a really cool thing it's um steady bendable really nice so overall the zaku one sniper with the sniper rifle looks absolutely fantastic as he of course should and you know because of the shoulders with their great articulation he can take a variety of poses with the sniper rifle so what he does he does extremely well and that's not all we're getting for accessories we also have the usual Zaku machine gun this is the Zaku 1 version we have a movable handle which is very floppy we have a scope which is also very floppy this is an exact this is just an exact remold of the original one so the same kind of problems we do have a removal ammo clip and fits into the same hand as with the sniper rifle though it's also in there a little bit on the floppy side but overall it is okay and of course with the left holding hand he can hold on to it with both hands absolutely perfectly thanks to those shoulders and the final accessory he gets is of course this is the a standard hand that we got with the original Zaku one and this is the hand that is used um, to clutch together with the right holding hand in order to perform a shoulder tackle as was seen in the original Gundam series now this one doesn't have a cover but you can use any of the other hand covers so essentially we do get five hands but only four hand covers because we get a new hand but if you want to use this if you want to use this hand no worries just use one of the other hand covers so unfortunately that also means that we don't get a heat hawk we don't get the bazooka we don't get the shield but you know the accessories he does get are absolutely fantastic but that's no reason to worry just yet because if you have some other Zaku ones I've said it before this is an exact remold you come here you can still put the other accessories on there absolute perfect fit and if you look up here you can remove this hatch and then you can mount the support rack of the original Zaku 1 on there in order to hold on to the bazooka that came with the original Zaku 1. He even has on the backpack uh, the storage uh, clip there, but of course because of the giant backpack you cannot access it. But if you're a bit bummed out that it doesn't come with a heat hawk, well you can just give him one of your original Zaku 1s if you must have it. He's of course also going to hold on to the shield perfectly because the hands are still the same. The last thing that has to be mentioned is that when you turn around on his bottom here, this part can be removed 
which will reveal a pig, and this will allow you to put him on an action base. As always, the inevitable question is, do you want to buy this? And the answer is yes, but first up, all the good stuff, it's a remold of the Zaku, which means it's simply a fantastic model kit. Great articulation, looks extremely nice, you get a nice amount of accessories, the beam sniper rifle is absolutely amazing, looks great, you got the metallic stickers on the scope, couldn't have looked any better. Which means that if you like the Zaku, if you like the Zaku 1 sniper type, this is an absolute must buy. Just go ahead and buy it already. For 1,400 yen, it's a pretty nice package. But now we get to the but. The first and most obvious thing is, this is not the only Zaku 1 sniper type out there. We also have the Yonam Kirks version now. And for 200 yen more, it isn't necessarily a better deal, but it is different. It's slightly more detailed, a bit more detail on the shoulder, on the chest it's, well, slightly different, and the head has a commander antenna, which is something this guy unfortunately lacks. And also the Odom Kirk's version has those extra canisters on the backpack, uh, which hold metal rods for the uh, sniper. So. Also, the colors are different, so it's not necessarily that one of the two is the better deal, it's just they're different, so maybe you prefer the colors of the Odom Kirk's version, maybe you really want the commander antenna, or you just like the details more on the Odom Kirk's version. So that is something to keep in mind. And the final but is that, well, at 1,400 yen, it is 400 yen more expensive than the original Zaku 1. And for that price difference, I don't feel that it necessarily offers you a lot more, because the original Zakus, well, the original Zaku 1s came with a plethora of accessories. They also came with a shield, they came with a Sturmfaust, they came with the bazooka. So if you're just looking for any Zaku 1, Definitely do not underestimate the original Zaku one either, and hey, they come with a commander antenna. But that doesn't mean, of course, that the Zaku one sniper type isn't absolutely amazing and still definitely a kit that is absolutely worth picking up. For some more comparisons, here is next to the other snipers of the One Year War. The Jim Sniper 2s. And then... The original Jim Sniper, the Jim Sniper Custom, and finally, let's pull back a bit and put the Gelgook Jaeger next to them as well, also known as the Gelgook Sniper type. Unfortunately, the Gelgook Jaeger, just as the Jim Sniper, had their beam sniper rifles kind of borrowed. But looking at this picture, unfortunately, the Zaku one sniper type is the weakest one of the bunch, sadly enough. Next up, here is next to the standard sized Jim Custom and the ever bulky Zaku 3. And finally, because it is a Zaku, the Zaku family picture. As I said before, as awesome as the Zaku 1 sniper type may be, he definitely has a lot of competition from the other Zakus. Especially with some of the newer ones, the Johnny Wright high mobility type, the Black Tricer high mobility type, the F2, even the Zaku 1s are awesome, and definitely do not underestimate the gorgeous looking 08 MS Team Zaku 2. Even though the articulation is absolute shit. But, that's all for this review. And see you guys next time.